So in this topic, it's 2.1, naming the quadrant or axes of a point given the signs of its coordinates. So before we do that, we need to discuss the coordinate system. In this coordinate system, this is quadrant one. And here, the x value is positive because it's going to the right, and the y value is positive because it's above the x-axis. Oops, I forgot to put positive. So the x is positive and the y is positive. Here, then you go this way. So this is quadrant two. But here, you're going to the left, which means the x values are negative, but you're still going up, so the y values are still positive. Then this is quadrant um, three. And so here, from the center or the origin, I'm going to the left, so the x value is negative, but then I'm also going down, so the y value is also negative. And last but not least, this is quadrant four. From the origin, it does go to the right, so the x value is positive, but it goes down, so the y value is still negative. Now, if you land here on the x-axis, that means that you would have had to go to the left or to the right, but the y, you do not move up or down. So in that case, it would mean you move to the right, a positive, and then a zero, or you move to the left, but you still did not go up or down, so you have zero for the y. Now here, you have the y-axis. And in the y-axis, no matter where you are, if you go up, the y-coordinate will be positive, and if you go down, the y-coordinate will be negative. Negative. But no matter where you are, whether you're up here or whether you're down here, you're still not moving left or right. So that means that the x coordinate will be zero, and zero prevents you from moving left or right. Okay? Let's go through the scenarios here. So the first scenario is that the x coordinate is positive and the y coordinate is negative. So that means x is positive, but y is negative. So I'm down here somewhere. That is quadrant four. Here it says the x coordinate is negative. So I'm moving to the left. And the y coordinate is negative, which means I'm going downward. So now I'm in quadrant three. Here it says the x coordinate is negative. So I'm over here somewhere. And the y-coordinate is positive, so that means I'm up here. That's actually quadrant two. Here it says the x-coordinate is zero, so I do not move left or right. And the y-coordinate is negative, so that means I'm down here somewhere. But I am still on the y-axis. Then in this scenario, it says the x-coordinate is positive. And the y-coordinate is positive, so I go up, that puts me in quadrant one. Here it says the x-coordinate is positive, so I'm to the right. And the y-coordinate is zero, so I do not move up or down, I'm right here on the x-axis. And those are all the different situations that you'll see.